every year lakhs and lakhs of neat aspirants prepare for neat examination work hard they study very hard and still when they come out of the exam hall they are wondering where did it went all wrong and the truth is most of those things have nothing to do with intelligence they are all fixable and you know i've seen this from both sides as a neat aspirant and also when i'm mentoring students and the reasons that students fail in neat examination are far more predictable than you can think if you understand these patterns you can literally avoid 99% of the problems that ruin your ranks so point number 1 they study from everywhere but they master none most of the neat aspirant thinks that they need to study from multiple sources but since they try to study multiple resources they study everything once and the, and they just don't master any one particular resource neat exam will always reward someone who has done who has revised the the very same material multiple times rather than solving multiple so resources once and you know toppers are not the ones who study every book they are the ones who study few resources but they study those few resources multiple multiple times so the very right moment that you're watching this video go and fix your resource from where you have to practice your questions and from where you have to read the theory do not chase multiple books or multiple resources choose one primary resource and revise it multiple multiple times until it becomes a muscle memory point number 2 avoiding difficult topics you know every need as per in you me and every topper who ever appeared in this examination have their scary topics and you know avoiding them is the biggest major mistake that you could do in your need preparation journey so you need to analyze your weak topics the topics that you fear the most and you need to give them 4 to 5 to 6 hours every day and work on those topics repeatedly every day so that those topics do not stress you out enough and when you study these scary topics every day your brain will stop fearing these topics and you will feel very confident in these topics Point number three is they don't analyze their mistakes. So this is a very very major mistakes that neat aspirants make. Most of the neat aspirants spend their three hours writing the paper. They see their marks, and if they get very less marks, they get upset but do nothing about it. And this is the exact very moment that you are losing your chance of getting selected. After giving a three hours of test, you need to spend next four to five to six hours analyzing your test papers, rectifying your mistake, finding solution to your mistakes, and and making a promise to yourself that you will never repeat this these mistakes ever again in the next in the upcoming mock test. And when you do so repeatedly in every mock test. until the neat examination you will definitely move forward towards your goal toppers are the ones who analyze the mock test just like the detectives and how to completely analyze your mock test i've completely explained in one of my videos uh, you can go and check that video out i'll also provide the video link in the description box so uh, let me give you a brief of all the things that you have to mark while analyzing your test papers you need to mark four types of questions first of all the questions that you did wrong the questions that you skipped the questions that you guessed right and the questions that took you too long time for you to answer those questions but you get them right, but you got them right eventually you need to mark these four types of questions and you need to go and revise those exact very same sub topics from your notes on the very same day that you give the test and when you do so consistently you will definitely increase your marks in mock tests point number 4 is they wait to feel motivated so this is a very common trap that neat aspirants generally fall into they just wait for the perfect day to start they just wait for the perfect perfect morning perfect day perfect mood to start but you know this perfection is a myth you will never be fully ready to start studying toppers are the ones who do not rely on motivation they rely on their systems for example they study in study blocks after their morning routine the next thing that they have to do is go and study for 3 hours straight no matter at what time they woke up no matter however they are feeling they will go and study for next 3 hours this is what is called studying in blocks this is your system this is the routine that you follow on the days that you don't feel like doing on the days that you are very motivated on the days that you are finding it very comfortable to study you have to study then and on the days that it is very hard for you to study you have to study on those days also point number 5 is they follow too many plans every day someone posts a new study plan new strategies new videos new 6 month plans students keep changing the methods so often that they never stick long enough to see their progress so how do you have to fix it is you have to choose one strategy that works for you that is based on your strengths and your weaknesses that is designed according to you 
you need to follow it for at least 20 days or 30 days to see the progress that that strategy brings and you know when you consistently work according to a strategy you see the fruits of the strategies after you have at least worked for a month because need is a very long journey you won't see the results of it immediately because it's a very long journey it's a it's a very long term game so if you want help making your revision schedules various strategies tips and tricks based on your strengths and your weaknesses your mindset shifts the mindsets that you should inculcate and uh, an accountability partner that is me myself then i've started my mentorship program i provide one-on-one -on -one mentorship to uh, to my mentees so if you're a serious need aspirant and want one-on-one -on -one mentorship then you can uh, join my mentorship program the pay uh, message me directly on my WhatsApp number. The WhatsApp number and the further details for the mentorship are given in the pinned comment on our, and also in the description box. So coming to point number five, they think that they have a lot of time left. Need feels very far away. You think that you have a lot of time left in your hands, but it's not. The majority of the crowds pushing themselves harder when it's March or when it's April, when it's only two months left. They think that they have a lot of time left in their hands for the need examination, but it's not so. The syllabus is very big. You need time for you to complete that syllabus and you need time for multiple revisions, for testing yourself, for, for practicing a lot of mock tests. So how you need to fix it is you need to start your preparation just like that exam is just 90 days away always because urgency will create discipline. Point number seven is they don't believe that they can become the selected ones. So this is a silent killer. Most students think that selection is for other people. And the moment you think that way, you study like someone who doesn't deserve a seat. You know, the toppers believe that they deserve the seat even before the results. So how to fix this problem is you need to act like the person who will see their name in the merit list, in the one person people who will get selected. You have to create the best version of yourself in your brains and you have to feed that best version in your brain in your subconscious mind every single day until the need examination. And you know, when you will imagine like this is, your habits will change automatically and it, and it will match this identity. So if you fix all of these, your need preparation will take a different turn. Remember, you don't always fail the need examination in, in the exam hall. You fail in the habits that you repeat daily. Change your habits and your result will change in your favor. And if you want my help in your preparation, then my mentorship program is open. You can directly message me on my WhatsApp number. And if you found this video useful, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and comment down. If you are someone who's ready to change your need preparation journey and if you are ready to avoid these mistakes.